Ooh, welcome to another throwback here on Throwback Gaming. I'm Johnny Gamewell, and I'm welcoming you to part six of our 2016 Halloween special, Long Play of Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem for the Nintendo GameCube. And last time we played as Alex's long-lost colonial ancestor from the 1700s. And where we will go from here, I have no clue, but this game has been awesome. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying it. If you haven't seen the other videos, go check them out now. This game is a blast, and it's perfect for the Halloween season. My personal favorite time of the year. So, without further rambling from myself, let's continue. The darkness comes. I have to say, I am pretty excited to see what the next chapter is. Uh, I don't remember too many others from this point. Uh, I feel like maybe three or four more. I can't remember. But here it is. A journey into darkness. There should be a page from the tome. Let's read it. The ancient's influence was incredible. From all walks of life to all parts of the world, their tendrils crept and wrought their insidious damage. Their prisons decayed constantly as their guardian's work continued. I discovered mention of a breakthrough in satellite radar imaging that revealed the presence of a hitherto unknown temple mound in the Angkor Thom region of Cambodia. An archaeologist of some repute, Dr. Edwin Lindsay, took it upon himself to investigate the area. To reveal the secrets of history. Unfortunately, the local government at the time thought differently, requiring that Lindsay find other means into the country and to finance the expedition. He found these in Paul Augustine, a collector of rare items who professed an interest in the discovery and agreed to help. After a dysentery riddled two week venture, Lindsay and Augustine located the remains of an ancient city temple. Paul Augustine, man. Pius Augustus. I am calling it now. Look at this, back in the 80s. Yes, this is it. It has to be. I hadn't expected the information to pan out, but here it is. The satellite data was correct. Searched for it without success. Here, all along, clouded from us beneath the great ancients and secret magic. I am very pleased with your performance, Dr. Lindsay. Very pleased. In fact, so pleased that I will give you an early bonus. You are a scholar, Dr. Lindsay, not a warrior. In that regard, I have several centuries more experience than you. Don't be a fool. Die quietly. And you will not suffer. You cannot escape me, Lindsay. This place will be your tomb. There it is. Called it. Called it. Oh shit. Ulioth strikes once again. Shit. Fuck. I feel like the tail needs to be shot. No. Alright. Let's just try this. Let me guess I don't have any spells. Yeah. Alright. Nope. How do I kill this fucking thing? Did I hit it? Nice. Doing damage.
Boom. Yeah. Now the thing is, how do you autopsy those to get them in your little journal? I mean, do you play as Maximilian Roivus again, or? Let's see. Anyway. Look at that. That's the thing. I do remember, and I've talked about this before, but the recycling of these levels, it's... I don't know. I'm somewhere in between. Because so I could see why they did it to make this nice, wonderful, overarching storyline, but it kind of does make you wonder if they were just trying to cut a couple corners, to be honest. Can I just leave the temple? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's worth dying for, right? The guy's a fucked up wizard. Might as well try, right? Alright. What do I have in my inventory? Alright, what am I supposed to do? What is going on? Oh shit. It's right under my nose. Follow your nose. Follow your nose, son. Boom. Alright. I'll have to keep an eye out for that bullshit. Going forward. Here we go. Oh, snap. Here it is. See our, say hello to our friends again. Come on. Can't look at the name anymore? You're kidding me. Come on, guys. Really? I forgot this chick's name. We have Kareem. Poor Kareem. Is this Anthony? Yeah. I think his name is Maximilian. There you go. Good old Tubby. So, looks like we have, what, three more people? Including this guy, so... Two more after this, and... Let's see, yeah. It's disgusting. Yes. Yeah, so if there's three including this guy, then what do we got? I remember there's, uh, like, I think an Iraqi war guy. And um, there's also one more medieval type dude where you go back to Anthony's level. And uh, that might be it. That might be it. And I think there's some sort of big finale with Alexandra at the end, of, of course. Alright. Let's get fucking serious. Shit. Come on, really? How did I trip that? Come on. Oh, shit. Looks like there's a trapper that got killed. No shit. Yeah, 
yeah. I mean, it kind of chaps my ass. I didn't get the tr the uh, trapper, the last level by the autopsy. Because I don't think um, I think there are different colors of trappers. So if you don't get the Ulioth one, man, you're SOL. Okay. Ooh. Use the brush. You have to keep an eye out, man. I have to keep an eye out. Look at that. Tier. Summon. Ooh. Alright, let me just... just want to double check. So I remember there are a couple that are... Again, you kind of have to keep an eye out for them. Those spider webs. The web. Alright. Kukri. Oh, shit. Alright, so green. Green, apparently, right? Green kills blue, if I remember correctly. Enchant item. Assign to the bottom. And there we go. You know, honestly, I actually I feel like those should not be on uh have hotkeys or whatever quick buttons. Oh shit. Can I strike at it? <clears throat> yeah. But yeah, I feel like the uh, other items or the other spells should be on there. Ones like Dispel. Things if I get into a jam. I just want to pull right up. Alright, so that doesn't fucking work. Let's see. Damage field. That's what I have. Spell 9. Cast it. In green. Let's see if it actually does anything. Doesn't. Cast it in red. No? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. That is mind blowing. Yeah, I wonder if this is. There's another spell that you can cast that um, that dispels force fields that you actually have the uh, the runes for, but it's kind of like a secret. Yeah, just for shits and giggles. Nope. It's too bad. Ah, fuck. It's gonna bother me, man. Alright, there we go. Alright. Camo. Nope. Hell yeah. But I can't use the, uh... Oh, shit. Ah, I see. Metal bracelet? Really? Okay. What is this? Should you pick up the bracelet? Yes. Oh shit. 
Oh shit. Oh. 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 Fuck. Here you go, take it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yes, you should. There we go. Ta-da! Oh shit, look at that. Nice try, assholes. Shit. It's a Manta Rock. Goodbye, Manta Rock. We hardly knew ye. We hardly knew ye. Alright, there's the, uh... The spider webs. The web. He's dead. He's dead. Let's see. Jesus, that was intense. Jesus Christ. This is not looking good. Fuck. Alright. Use the brush. Gotta brush it up. Brush it up real good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. So I don't know what this is, but if it's a shockwave or something. Alright, lying in shadow. I wonder. See, reveal invisible.
Boom. And then that door's gonna open up. And we'll be well on our way. To insanity. Alright. Changing it up, man. The big fucker's in here, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think the good thing is that I can actually just run around, right? Just get that magic up, yeah. Boom. Just keep that magic going. Come on. Spam that magic. Hello, sir. Hello. Oh shit. Yeah, there's no way to avoid that. Okay. Now, I'd like to enchant my item. Uh, oh shit, actually it should have been green, right? And green kills blue. Check that quick spell list. Yeah. Alright, now I probably won't be able to actually cast the dispel magic here. So green kills blue, right? Boom! You a dick. Come on, just swing at him. Come on, that's definitely not helping me out. That is bullshit. I mean, with the other guy, Kareem, it was... One-shot kill. That's humanity's day. I'm gonna try red next time. Alright, any spooky webs? No. Alright, so I was just gonna force you to go through this bullshit. Okay, here we go. If I remember correctly, in this level, you get a, uh, you can summon a trapper. So, blue. Alright, I'm just, let's just try green on this asshole. Two hits, three hits. If I remember that, you can summon a trapper. going on? It's music. Oh, shit. Alright, now let's try red. All right. And this guy's a big one, so... It, conceivably, it would take more hits. So, I just... beheaded him. Hit him once. There, I'm telling you. Red kills blue, man. Let's check it out. Hmm. There's one hit. There's two or three. Can't really tell which ones are connecting, but... There's another one. Yeah. I'm telling you. Three or four hits. More like four or five, but... Less than the green. Creepy. Alright, here we go. Yeah, this is where you, uh... Oh, shit! This is where you definitely... find the summon... 
summon the little dude. All right. The trapper. We go into the trapper dimension. Shit. Oh shit. Jesus. No. Don't touch those. Do not fucking touch those, please. Well, that was creepy. What's this? that noise? Hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Huh. What's going on? There's some sort of water wheel or something. Shit. Yeah, fuck. I don't like that very much. No, sir. What's going on here? What's going on? What the fuck is going on? Can I leave something here? Right, yeah, as soon as you get off it. Oh, you take it? Nice. That's pretty cool. Sorry, buddy. I wonder if this is what causes the gas. Let's see. Okay. I wonder if you press this button... Go in here. Aha! Yes. You see? Shit, yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So I know what you have to do. Dispel that magic, sir. <laughs> Are you serious? Get the fuck out of here. Come on. Really? Really? Okay. Let's see. It's red? No way. Come on. Wow. The spell magic did not work, huh? Really? Let's try blue. Serious. Alright. Alright. Let's, uh. Oh, shit. Ouch. Oh, shit. Manta Rock, go away. What is this? Okay, so let's dispel that magic, right? Blue. So green should kill blue. Boom. Oh, look at that. Okay. Crafty. I was gonna say. Okay, 
concerning. Any secrets in here? Are there any secrets in here? Let's see. Man, graphics are pretty damn good, I have to say, for GameCube. This is also a, uh, a Nintendo 64, I, don't, I wouldn't say maybe quite port, but it started out on the Nintendo 64, for sure. Google that one, it's a pretty, pretty cool backstory. Even though, yes, it is with uh, Dennis the Dickhead Dyak. I mean, just too bad to have an asshole like that running the show. It's such good games, such talented individuals making these games, and uh, and he's the face of it all. <laughs> However, maybe his um, you know his input on these games was was uh, very beneficial. Who knows? I mean, I don't think. I think 99.99% of us have no clue, so who knows, maybe he wasn't an integral part to these games. But, uh, you know, it takes, a, it takes a village, so I tend to doubt that. Alright, gold of course, right? Yes. Fuck. Let's go, go, go. What are they? Uh, green. So what kills green? It was red. It was red, son. Alright. Do the red. Boom. Got red. Yeah, one hit kill. Boom. As it should be. As it should be, son. Look at that big face. It's pretty badass. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that in...
There we go. This won't be too bad. Oh, shit! Alright, there we go. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Gas, probably. Yeah. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Alright, whoa, shit. So, blue kills red. Blue kills... Oh, shit! Okay. Oh, you fuckwad. Oh, squeezed me, gave me a hug. Oh, fuck you. Boom. I wonder if I can enchant the gun. No more hugs. Oh, fuck, dude. You can get fucked up. Jesus. That doesn't seem to be helping. Shit. I'm telling you. That enchantment is bullshit. Red should kill blue. Or no, I think it's... Fuck, I think it's green. Right. Yeah, blue kill. No, red, green, blue. Yeah. Blue should be fucking this guy up. Oh, fuck. Alright. We're gonna see here when dispel magic. Dispel magic here. I mean, it's red, so it's blue. Yeah, for sure. Boom, yeah. I got this shit. But I don't know what it is with those weapons. But you have to go back to that pool. Okay, here we go. Shit. It's fucking cheap. Some of the pool? No. Yeah, that's a good camera angle. Fuck. That is creepy. He's got to catch his breath, man. Oh, shit. There you go. Catch your breath, buddy. A hit there. Fuck. There we go. Okay, let's uh Yeah. Hell yeah. Man, I love those statues in the corner. Did a really good job with the level. Just the artwork. It's one thing this game has. The actual level design itself. None of these levels are really complicated or uh, really unique, but um, it's what they do with the architecture is, uh, is what's really impressive. Okay, let's see here. 
Walking through. Here we go. Bada boom. That's the thing. I wonder if I'm... If I should figure out the trapper... Spell. Since my parents died. Yes. Ever since they were killed, you have been my little girl. Yes. My little girl. Oh shit. I don't know if you actually get the Summon Traver spell, or you just have to put it together randomly from the runes you're given. It's kind of a secret, because I know you can get a, uh, a Mantarok rune. And, uh, I don't know, I forgot what it does. Maybe it's the most powerful of them all, but... I would assume there's something special with it. But I know you have to get a trapper up in that area. Alright, what is it? I can't even tell what fucking color he is. Is he blue? Is he green? I think he's green. Fuck. Oh shit. There we go. Have a fucking seat, son. Have a fucking seat. Okay. Oh, wow. We're going real far back here. Shit. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to miss that? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit, it's too dangerous. Come on, man. You're a modern Indiana Jones for Christ. Oh, look at that creature. Okay. Hold on, let me try. Fuck, I don't actually have the summon rune. Alright. So that's definitely what it's all about right there. Shit, I have almost all of them. Alright. Alright. We're getting there. That, there's the mural again. There it is. Oh, it's changed. The mural has changed. What does it say? He's mystified. Imagine that's Ulioth.
Holy fuck, do they grow their heads back? Holy shit. They do. Go. Jesus Christ, man. Finally. There we go. Looking for those cobwebs. Let's do one more round with the torch. I think so. I see no cobwebs. Let's see. Fuck. Fuck. Mantarok, you are such a whore. Making me go through all this bullshit. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm missing, or I missed the rune. It's good.
There it is. There it is, man. There it is. There we go. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's fucking hilarious. This isn't really happening. Boom.
<clears throat> Here we go. Here we go. Manta Rock. Alright, let's try. Oh shit, look at this. Okay. Definitely need some magic before we uh, hit that shit up. Jesus. Yeah, maybe you have to cut off the faces to kill them, and the enchantment just allows you to cut off the faces in one hit. That's my Oh shit, look at that. The Manta Rock. Rune. God damn, there it is. Nice.
eat a bag of dick. Back to whence we came. Magical shotgun in hand. Rocking out, man. Here we go. Yeah, see, I wonder if the Manta Rock rune is just some overall badassery rune that um, just trumps them all. I wonder. I'm going to have to find out. I'm going to have to do some experimenting. I don't know. wasn't bad. I wonder if it's any real difference. Might have to Google it, man. I like to do it the old school way. But, uh, I mean, the interwebs, game facts and whatnot were definitely around when this game came out. So I guess it's not cheating. I guess not. Oh, shit. Look at that. Is that it? Yeah, summon trapper. Yeah. Of course that is, right? You just gotta check. I mean, I just have to. Yeah, there it is. Look at this fucker. He's back. It's almost weaker. I mean, it took two hits to chop off his head. Huh. Oh, shit. Here we go. Look at that. They make you go to the end of the level and go back, like, halfway through. Halfway point of the level to, uh... Get the Mantarok rune. 
Fuck, it's pulsating. Oh shit. Oh shit. Manta rock, bitches. The darkness shall prevail. It's that bitch. Torturous death row. That's good writing, man. That really is. Again, it reminds me of the uh, Blizzard writing of uh, of your Diablo 2 and Diablo 1 style writing. Even StarCraft to a degree. It uh, can really, really help a story. And this one doesn't really give you a lot of specifics. You just kind of are aware that there's these three gods warring apparently you kinda have to figure it out for yourself and uh, stuff like that just adds nice little touches Alright, that's that's pretty cheesy. <laughs> it's too bad. But alright. I'll dig it. Is it, is it yeah, Roivis. That's right. The mansion incident. Oh shit, I wonder if this is when books are going to start flying around. <laughs> Look at that book. Hey, and, and he didn't die, that's nice. You got the first character that didn't get fucked in the end. Alright, well, Maximilian didn't technically die, but just put him in a scene asylum. Oh, oh. Random cutscenes of... Now we obviously have to go check out the flying books. I'm, I'm hoping they're flying around. Or at least going to go check out that hilarious retro. Like pulp comic. 
No flying books, man. That's such a disappointment. I remember the books flying across the room. I just see one randomly go across. Fuck. That's, that is sad. All right. All right. Where's the book? Come on. Come on, Alex. You're out of shape if you can't continue to run. There it is. The pulp novel written by Dr. Edwin Lindsay himself. Yes, look behind the book. The heart of Manta Rock. The world from its corrosive energies. Claim the heart, claim the heart. It is now the essence of Manta Rock. Festers elsewhere. That is awesome. Oh, I know what you gotta do. Dispel the magic by the window. It's gotta be it, man. I love how this... This mansion serves as the hub, as the overworld. It's uh, and you discover more about the hub as you continue. It's um, <laughs> actually it's really akin to like games, uh, 3D platform games like Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie and whatnot. If you really think about it, which is interesting. All right, here we go. Look at that. It is a catch-all. Hell yeah. That is fucked up. That is really fucked up. Heresy! That's a fuck ton of runes right there. Oh shit, it's a walking testicle. Oh shit. Well, I think we have what, about three more chapters to go? We have Heresy. I think there's a World War II one. And then there's also a one. There's also a one. There's also a chapter in, I think, like the Iraq War times. And the guy finds, um, this black soldier finds some. Um. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me here on Throwback Gaming. It's our 2016 Halloween special. Check out the other videos if you haven't already. This game has been awesome. If you can find a copy, go play it. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Stay tuned for more parts of our Halloween special here on Throwback Gaming. I am Johnny Gamewell.
and I'll see you guys next time.